Airtight hangar door blocks look interesting, but are very PCU intensive and do not cover much space. If you desire the telescoping aesthetic and door function without the airtight property, you can build your own giant telescoping doors. These massive doors use stacked pistons to allow for attachment points to the sliding door parts without colliding with the other door parts. This is the functional area of the door and required a lot of adjustment to become stable. The door parts need to be large enough to have good coverage when extended to the closed position and be short enough to allow for the door parts to be mounted to the inner pistons to allow the telescoping action. I used as few pistons as possible to limit the mismatch speed and activation while granting a fair amount of movement. These pistons still required experimental mode amounts of force and inertia tensor to move reliably across the floor. Massive subgrids in close proximity can unintentionally merge during a copy-paste operation. Be cognizant of attachment points of blocks to prevent this issue. Unbeknownst to me at the time, glass door edge blocks have an attachment point along the edges and could merge to the surrounding blocks during a copy-paste operation. They do not have attachment points on two of their faces, which allows for safe movement. These giant doors sit far enough from the main grid to not unintentionally merge most of the time unlike the elevators, which required the use of blocks that did not have attachment points. Consideration should be taken for a maximum piston extension length for a telescoping door look. A small limitation of the maximum piston length can allow for a clean looking door closure without the pistons pushing through the piston heads and breaking the door. Massive moving objects should probably have some sort of visual cue. These doors are attached to static grid and only the door parts removed. An event controller in the door will detect its movement and trigger the lights to blink when closing. Timer blocks can be used to achieve the same effect if the massive doors are used on a mobile grid. Sound blocks could also be used, but I find them to be more annoying than helpful. I hope these doors can inspire other creators on their own giant doors or be used in other telescoping objects. Until next time, go forth and build great things. See you then.